Cuando la represa, accidentes y placas, les obliga a la pobreza. En la quebrada de Guayaca, van formando la represa para contener el sol que en su río revolcó. En la quebrada de la Van formando la represa, solo teniendo la muerte, por amigos en La represa de Guayaco, pura piedra y cemento, fuertemente remachado, con la sangre del nombre. Today we have a group from Iona Prep who've come on what we describe here as an immersion experience. Being here, experiencing this with all the senses has really, has really been a, a bit of a shock at first and, and maybe a little bit difficult to handle, you know, to, because it, it, it begins to make you question, you know, your own reality and what we come from. Really the idea is so that they can get into a poor area, a poor barrio, and see it from the inside. We started by bringing the materials up 134 steps from the, from the bottom down by the school all the way up here to the top of this ridge and we helped the homeowners demolish the house that was standing there. You know, it's hard to put your, your, your head around that. that you, we put together a house that they'll probably live in for years and years, so, uh, in two days. Part of what we're doing here is introducing, not just doing physical work here, like building the house behind us or helping build the house, but also, you know, introducing the, the students to an entirely different reality. Uh, really expanding their worldview to see how most of the people in the world live. It's very, very difficult to make the choice of who needs a house. This year we've been lucky because uh, seven groups have actually come down to build houses. Me cambia bastante porque ya no, no pasa la lluvia, no nos hace frío. Por mis hijos más que todo, tengo tres bebés. Y ya me cambia bastante la vida. It's uh, hard to imagine living as some of these people live because it's, uh, it's so just very basic. Fifteen years ago when I first went there in 1995, there was nobody living on the hill. So the people there have really been pioneers. They've gone into very rough environments and by dint of their work, they have made it a much better place to live. Adentro, no más dormimos mi esposo y yo en una cama y mis hijos en una cama de dos plazas que nos dio el hermano. Ah, los tres ahí y nada más. Many people in our world live very poorly and they need our help. They need people like us to, to reach out and cross the bridge to their side and help them. Many groups have come this year from different schools and we hope that this experience will touch them so that in 5, 10, 20 years time they may continue to be generous people for those who need. My favorite part about living in Peru is being with the people, especially the kids and especially the little kids in this school. The children here in Peru are very warm and loving children. And especially here in this school because they're very poor. You see the faces but you don't see what is happening inside of their minds, inside of their families, you know, it's very difficult. But a remarkable thing about them is that when they come to school they're always clean and very well presented. It's as if that's all I've got is myself. That's how they present themselves. 
Most of them appreciate a good education, but they have challenges that are so difficult, sometimes it forces them to leave school, even though they don't want to. When you look down from the outskirts, you see a lot of plants and trees within, within it, so it's almost like a, a, an oasis. It's a very, very busy school. Because we have 1,600 children, 800 in the high school and 800 in the grammar school, All of the Fainel Agria schools are built in an outlying area where the people are quite removed from the, the city, city center. We always worked in the poorest areas in Peru, and uh, that's what makes it so rewarding, I guess. These kids appreciate what they get. But when the school first started, it was built in sand. It had wooden, wooden walls and straw roofs and so forth. It was very basic. Pero poco a poco, Con las hermanas cristianas hacían trabajos comunales, trabajos comunales en las cuales los padres de familia ayudaban a construir las, los aulas a base de ladrillo, todo. Y la institución Fe Alegría nos apoyaba, ¿no? Para que se levante, para que esté como esté ahora, ¿no? And that speaks to the uh, ability of the people to join together to fight for a common, common purpose. Creo que estamos poquito a poquito logrando eso, a que ellos se encuentren en el sentido de lo que el colegio le da como valores. Y creo que es una gran, un gran reto para nosotros hacer que nuestros alumnos, los profesores, se logren como personas, se sientan con mucha autoestima, con mucho cariño consigo mismo y mucho cariño con los demás. I'm very much in favor of a very active type of education in which the students are not sitting down in rows, but they're actually participating, working in groups, that they're learning from each other, and I see examples of that happening in the school. We have students in the school who, for different reasons, they don't have a, uh, a good, what's called almuerzo, which is their main meal of the day. So we, we started the lunch program a number of years ago, and right now there are about 110 students that every day have a good, good meal, their main meal of the day, in the school, either before classes or after finishing classes in the morning. se cocina acá en la cocina. Para los niños, todos se llevan ollas grandes, en ollas grandes al colegio son del comedor del buen gusto que nos hemos puesto con el hermano el nombre del buen gusto por los que niños que entran teníamos treinta y tantos empezamos ahora tenemos 117 alumnos the students are are very happy after getting their lunch they always seem to be well fed y hermano y veo a las señoras necesitadas y doy trabajo a las señoras casualmente la señora me ayuda adentro a servir dos Para mí no solamente yo no trabajo la plata, sino lo comparto con las señoras. Like in all schools, we have uh, problem students. Problem students would be with discipline or the re repeating classes, and the tendencies can be well. We if they don't make it, then we ask them to leave the school and maybe find another school where they, they might be able to make it. Recently we've, we've tried a different process. Brother Kike got the idea that why don't we try to get them to stay in the school, have lunch in the school, in the lunch program, and then afterwards help them with their mathematics, do sports, maybe a prayer session, something with, with these kids. Yo creo que en primer lugar el indicador más de mayor satisfacción es el nivel de autoestima de ellos. Ellos se sienten personas valiosas. Su forma de comunicarse va cambiando también. Ya no son tan violentos entre ellos. Van siendo más, este, más, más afectivos en su trato. Ahora es un proceso largo, ¿no? No es tan fácil eh, cambiar en ellos costumbres o actitudes que han tenido por años. A good number of them have improved in their marks and in their attitude in the school. Speaking to the one kid yesterday, Matthias, Matthias was, uh, he was almost out of school 
for conduct problems and he's in the program run by Brother Kike now. Mi Matías, he had a very good experience in this year, more than anything, with my brother Luis Enrique. He helped me a lot and I see his comportment in his studio, everything has changed. We have lots of insights, lots of ideas, you know, then you have to face a big problem, you know, there's the money. So if you want to do something, you have to have some money there, you know. All the work that we do in Peru, from running the schools, to working with people to improve their neighborhoods and build their houses, to putting food on the table, all comes from the United States. El colegio ha brindado mucha, muchas facilidades a muchas personas y a lo mejor hasta la oportunidad de, de cambiar de vida. En medio de la pobreza, eh, la violencia, el abandono, eh, hay una posibilidad, hay una esperanza yo creo. El mayor signo es la esperanza para nuestro pueblo, ¿no? para Arriba Perú. La inteligencia todos la tienen, no hay ser humano que sea distinto al otro y el dinero no nos hace ni más ni menos a otros. Ser pobre no significa que no poder lograr. No puedes ser profesional. I think more and more we we are seeing that we're just one big family in this world, which is one big family and part of the universe. We learn to work together, and uh, the groups that have coming down have been a great experience for us, and I think a great experience for them. So. So please feel free to come down and you all come down and visit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The best way that we can help the people in Peru is for we who see this film to give from our need to their need. These are very good people who have very great needs and it's an easy give. Guapo, 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 guapo